everyone. Do you did you know I bought we bought these books before the the five and one Amazon Kata books. Do you remember in the last video I read you one story from five and one regional folklore of India? It's the bridegroom's ring and the Kayasta and his guest. And now I have brought I have got a new book. It's called Bhagavad from Epics and Mythology. These are the stories of incidents Lord Krishna took in Vrindavan with his brother with his brother Balram and his cowherd friends. Now I have a great story I wanted to read to you. It's with Krishna and the great heron Bakasu. It all started a long time ago back in Vrindavan. When they were a little older, Krishna and Balram were allowed to take the older cattle to the forest to graze. They would carry their morning meal for with them and roam all day from forest to forest with their herd. One day, come, let us drive the cows towards the lake. They must be thirsty now. When the cows had quenched their thirst, suddenly, look there, what a huge crane! Perched beside the water was a crane, strong and huge. It pounced on Krishna and picked him up with its in its sharp beak. Even as Krishna's companions stared open-mouthed with shock, the creature swallowed Krishna at one gulp. So terrified were the cowherds that they fainted from shock. But as soon as Krishna reached the mouth down the mouth of the demon, the creature felt an unbearable heat inside his throat and quickly spewed out his victim. was none other than Bakasur, a friend of Kamsa. Enraged, he attacked Krishna with his beak. Now Krishna sprang up and grabbed the creature and playfully tore it apart. When they, when they regained conscience, the cowherds were overjoyed to, to, see, to have their playmate back and hugged him with affectionately. Come, gather the cattle now. Let us go back home. They hurried home and, and to relate the incident to their parents. The Gopas and Gopikas gathered together to hear the tale. And Krishna tore the demon apart as if, as if he were tearing up a tiny reed. We were so relieved to see him safe. The elders were amazed. Once again, this boy has escaped from the jaws of death. Whoever tries to harm this boy always comes to harm itself. Gargacharya was right. This boy is indeed great. Krishna and Balram spend their days happily frolicking and playing with other cowherds. Early at dawn, they would leave their homes with their herd. And spend the day sp sporting in the forest and fields. They would adorn themselves with wild flowers and fresh blossoms and peacock feathers or play a game of hide and seek or play music on their flutes and pipes or race one another come let's see who can run and touch krishna first they would imitate so the sounds of the forest bzz, bzz. Mm. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. 